even Jordan a bit times the delicate thing you shouldn't have tried to mess with it. You will not be missed, good riddance, sign Bob. Give me your phone. Why? Just hand it over. What about Ashley? I left her. Hand it over! Well, what about you? What about Sarah? What about her? So we're just gonna stay in this basement? This is the safest place for us right now. I've got this place stocked up just in case something like this happens. So this note. It's dated 2007. That's almost eight years ago. We might have a road time traveler. This ball might appear anytime now and kill us. And you're only telling me this now. If I told you the true nature of the problem, you would have bailed. Oh, if you just drag me to the one place, he could kill both of us. It's alright, I'm armed. I don't care. Why fight when you can run? No! Bob has access to all points in time. He might even be outside right now. Why don't we just destroy this thing? If we never finish building it, we will never meet this bar. No! Does it feel like that? Why not? Because it didn't. I, I don't follow. Okay, so our plan is to destroy it, right? Yes. If we had planned on that, and if followed through, why are you still holding on to that note? Because we haven't destroyed it yet. Yeah, but we are going to, right? Yes. So why are you still holding on to that note? Because we haven't destroyed it yet. All I'm saying is, whatever we do, nothing would change. C come on, you know this, it's not the cause. If we are experiencing the present as it is, it implies that whatever that has happened in the past was already cast in stone. We will still be in the same situation as we are right now. And all I'm saying is that there will be no way for whoever this Bob is to come back and find us. We will both be fine and we can forget about this. You know what? I don't care if you spend 10 years on this. This needs to go now. What did we ever do to this Bob, man? I suppose we somehow pissed him off in the future. Hey, I know we got that whole confidential, like, no questions asked thing, but uh, I don't really see how it applies now. So why did you want to go back? To stop my wife from going to the movies. Was it really that bad? No. That's where she first... That's where she first met the guy she's out with now. Yeah, you, right? No. Sarah, when did you find out? I've known for a while. I really should have known back then. New lipstick, new makeup, new friend. Afterwards, I catch her sneaking out late at night, you know, coming up with excuses for not being at home. Eventually, I tailed her and I found her. I found her holding that guy's hand. Now that I think about it, it doesn't really take 15 minutes to take the trash out onto the sidewalk. Does it? I guess not, Sean. How are things with you, actually? Oh. Our second anniversary is coming up. Well, look at you. Doing fine for yourself. What do you think you're getting her? Well, she always likes these uh, 
It's cry violets. What the hell is a cry violet? It's an extinct flower. Actually, always like that purple color. So let me get this straight. All this time, all this money, the breakthrough of a century, and so for dumb flowers. Couldn't have gotten her Egyptian gold. When I was thinking of getting Ashley flowers, I was also thinking of accidentally releasing homicidal maniacs from the future. How do we know this is even real? The cry violet, or you just... No, the, the homicidal maniacs from the future. How do you know this isn't a prank? Did you tell anyone else about this? No. Neither did I. What about Sarah? What if she came down here, found this machine? What if she wrote this note? Her. <laughs> okay, even if not her, let's consider other alternatives. If we never made this machine, how would, how would Bob come and find us? What was that noise that you heard upstairs just now? Then why the note? Why, why toy with this food when he can just come down and kill us? That note proves it all. It must mean time travel exists sometime in the future. It's simple not because. If not because it's true, and if you succeeded, why don't I see Sarah standing out the door with apologies and a bouquet of flowers? Where are supplies anyways? Second shelf. Really? It was half price. This. You're out of this. What are you gonna skew with this? Sea sponges? And also, why is it so dark? You have great lights, use them! The Novikov self-consistency principle, it's still limited to the theoretical realm. Only a matter of speculation. Oh, so now you're changing sides. Why don't you just save yourself the hypocrisy and settle the simplest explanation that you are being pranked? Pranked by who? You and I are better than that. But right now you're not giving me answers, you're just being an unnecessary pain in my ass. And my wife is still with that guy. Can't you extend her brother some empathy? Can't you just let me grasp onto this tiny hope that this, this world is not actually unsalvageable and that I could at least fix a small part of it? Then fix it in the present. Before screwing around, huh, man? Heavens <laughs> no. I'm not asking you to convert to an open marriage. It's just to me a viable plan. The power to alter the past is in my hands. Why settle for something less? Okay, first off, those are pretty small hands. And let's just say, for the sake of argument, that I buy into your little escapist fantasy. Okay, how on earth are you going to convince your wife not to go on a first date with a soon-to-be lover? I... I don't know. Talk to her or something. Talk to her. There are a million ways a conversation can go. How are you going to ensure that what you say won't drastically change the present? I'll keep it short and simple, scripted, 20 minutes tops. 20 minutes, yeah. That's about enough time for you to convince of your little time travel gimmick. Gimmick? You're calling this just a gimmick? 20 minutes to save your marriage. Her listening to what you have to say, letting her speak her mind, reconsidering her life choices, then be convinced that you are the one true love for her. I'm gonna have to say, I'm not very convinced by this timetable. Just to say five minutes for the reconciliation hug. Why are you asking me all of this? I'm not the only one who wants to use the time machine. These are very real things you have to consider. And your plan was to go back for stupid violets. For Ashley, it's worth it. Oh, so risking the space time continuing for your marriage is an okay thing to do. What about my marriage? Have you ever considered that maybe this is just all your fault? That 10 years have just led up to this? 10 years of holidays, dinner dates, walks in the park, all gone just for that?
time I ask you, how Sarah thinks about all this, you're always like, oh, she's fine. She still loves you, right? Not for small hands. I'm done with this nonsense, man. Where do you think you're going? I'm done with this. If you want to act like a clown, do it in front of an audience. I'm going home. But we're not supposed to leave the basement. It's been nine hours. Not sure about you, but I'm pretty sure there's no bar. Oh, by the way, your cheapskate. What if you don't survive? Tell me, Sean, what exactly do you think is going to happen if I open this door? Don't you dare! So what's your plan, huh? Stay here until the end of days, or until the end of your marriage? Do you not realize that Bob could be outside? Listen to yourself! Bob, 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 Bob! No, no! <gasps> By the time you're reading this, we would be hundreds of kilometers across the border, ready to start our new life. I'm sorry we had to leave without saying goodbye. Sarah didn't even want to leave you a note, but I insisted. I thought you at least deserved an explanation. You weren't good enough, and she deserved someone better like me. When Sarah told me about the time machine you two were building, I thought it was really cute, actually. But I think it's about time you stop chasing after such fantasies. I'm sorry we had to use it to distract you while we cleared up some of our things. Good luck. Someone better. <laughs>